Has it been a seamless transition to kind of pivot a little bit more away from that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency mining operation towards artificial intelligence services for some of those bigger clients out there? And, and what exactly does the resource reallocation look like from a corporate perspective? Yeah, from a corporate perspective, you know, this is a reallocation of our development resources. So all of our development time is now focused on building out new sites and winning new clients in the high performance computing space. Our company has completely changed over 800 megawatts of our infrastructure where we're developing some of the largest high performance computing sites in North America and potentially in the world as well, which is something that we're really excited about. We just announced our Denton, Texas facility, which is actually going to be one of the largest supercomputers in the United States. What exactly has been the biggest challenge for a company like Core Scientific to ramp up or change its business model to accommodate this AI demand? And it has been surging, in all honesty. Yeah, it all comes down to the team. You know, all of the hyperscalers and large enterprises that are looking for data center capacity are looking for experienced teams that can handle the infrastructure development side because this is something that is completely overwhelming to all of these large tech companies. They're building so many data centers in so many different locations that they need to have an experienced team that they can trust. And if you think about it, you know, 100 megawatt facility is over a billion dollars in infrastructure. So these are large investments from these large tech companies, and they're not just gonna hand them to any type of company that doesn't have experience in developing some of these large and next generation data centers.